Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I am Divine Energy, the goddess. Welcome to my beautifully lit, prosperous YouTube. I like to do different spiritually related videos and content. If you enjoy it here, hey, make sure you hit the subscription button down below as well as the post notification bell. Okay. So let's get into it. We got a message here for Taurus. I don't know why I'm so bouncy on Taurus. Like what the F? But I did just drink some water and it is electricity. And I just ate some watermelon. So it's like, I'm lit. All right, let's get into it, Taurus. And I was like drinking the juice and everything. It's fire. I'm talking about it tastes so good, y'all. I love watermelon juice. Do y'all love watermelon juice? Okay, anyways, let's get into it this week for uh, Taurus. Taurus, big Taurus. How you doing? How you doing? Big Taurus. Get into it. Taurus. The God. The God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so Taurus, I'm getting a, a channel message here. Somebody, you could feel like somebody wants you to like pay dues or something like that. Or you could feel like somebody like is trying to penalize you. Taurus could feel like that. I feel like this is really deception and even possible envy from this person. This person could feel like very defeated. Because they haven't taken some sort of responsibility, accountability for themselves. Here is what I'm hearing for Taurus. Real-ish, okay? Hopeless, helpless. That's what they said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't think that's your energy, but that could be somebody that this week, their energy, like, comes up. And then, like, you read it. You catch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Mm-hmm. Taurus this week. Two, two, two. When I said that, yeah, I feel like this person again. When it comes to them not taking some sort of action or something in their life, they feel like you did. You took some sort of action that brought you, put you in a light, put you in a spotlight. So much of a spotlight that it brought you great prosperity and a lot of awards and recognition. Now, once you got in that spotlight, you just shined. You just took off you know what i'm saying just period you know what i'm saying period you you're telling the truth you're inspiring people you give them hope right that's what that's what it is and it, you don't even have to do that as your job but that could be your profession right talk, talk to me here holy spirit i feel like you're somebody who nurtures people like you help people you nurture people's mind or something like that you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm getting like a a mental guru or something like that somebody who's heavy into psychology even Taurus, it's like you like the way to understand the mind. Yeah, oh my God, your heart's seeking gratitude. You're connected to the all, the source, God. Didn't I say big God when I came in here? Before I started, your as I was starting your reading, Taurus, what did I say? Big God energy. I was like, what up, big God, Taurus? <laughs> Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. What's up? What's goody? Shadow popping up this week. Shadow soap popping up this week, boo. So some of y'all could be like getting into the arts or something like that. Like maybe there's something you enjoy doing. A lot of solitude this week. Enjoying that. If you have a bit of that this week. Okay, for my tourists. Look at tourists. Look at you showing up. Abundance, 420, always prospering, always prosperity and abundance following you, Taurus. Ooh, 420 when I said that. Y'all look that number up. All right. Give me another one for Taurus. Taurus, y'all on fire this week. Shoot. Go, Taurus. Give me one more for Taurus, please. Okay, that was a lot, but I'll take it. Balance, crown chakra in the universe, very connected to that. 11 11 this week. 
So you might even see that number or that might like be one of your numbers that you're very connected to detaching. So Taurus could feel like detaching from someone this week or, you know, maybe not even being in energy. Uh, Taurus, you could do tarot. You had an ability to teach. You could be like a master teacher of some sort. It doesn't even have to be just to row, okay? You could be just like a master teacher of some sort, right? You're saying. Okay, so yeah, you feel like whoever this person is that is stuck with fear and this hopeless, helpless energy, it's like for you, Taurus, you feel like this person is doing the most. And for you, you're like, no, I'm busy. I don't want to connect. I'm all tied up like you have no energy for this person you feel like somebody could be tr trying to drain your energy and because you're so focused this week like really in your solitude nature of balance harmony crown chakra energy right um it, it doesn't it doesn't you know what i'm saying their energy and where you're at versus where they are right it doesn't match up you know you're not gonna have the time nor the energy is what they're saying for towards this week. Let's get some more messages. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it for towards this week. Towards this week. So Taurus, we got our courage. Courage. Somebody feels like, like I said earlier, somebody feels like you had a lot of courage, you know what I'm saying, to, to do something that they were not able to do. Where they fell short, you know, you were able to pull through, you know, and they, they want that, but you know, they have to work through their, uh, shadow self, like how you did. They have to do the work like how you did. Courage. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And that's what you did. The things that you were afraid of, you faced it with, with confidence, Taurus. And a lot of people get that mistaken. So they think that Taurus is confidence came from a bad space not knowing that Taurus had to face their fear to get to this confidence space so you know perseverance look you see what I'm saying maybe you use humor maybe you use like this person I feel like it was a friend to you you know um you try to get them through the people and teach them discipline you know so they don't have to live with regrets but maybe find some sort of happiness People, what I'm trying to tell you, Taurus, is people have, will keep a lot of guilt and pride and put, try to put it on you, Taurus. You know what I'm saying? This week. And so that shit might come up. I hate to curse, but, or say profanity. It's not really a curse. It's more like profanity, but you know what I'm saying? Let me go to use a regulation or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I feel like Taurus this week, okay? People are trying to put that pride, trying to put that guilt on you this week. You know, that kind of energy is just kind of coming up. You know what I'm saying? Because you're doing your thing. And you've been doing your thing for a while. That's what they're saying. Okay, for you, Taurus. Let's get you some uh, Buddha's divine masculine messages. Come on. Talk to me for Taurus this week. Talk to me for Taurus this week. They are not ready, Taurus. Okay? Taurus. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Give thanks for what has been given to you, however little, okay? However little, give thanks to what is given. Taurus, tell me more, Taurus. And I think that's even, like, don't let your pride, like, get in the way either. Because I feel like a lot of people try to project their pride and because of their guilt onto you. And, like, mm-mm. That don't even belong to you, like, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of it, and I feel like, a, um, what I'm trying to say is, it's like certain insignificant people. People that are not significant, they don't even matter in reality. You know what I'm saying? They don't even matter because they're not doing the work. That's why they don't matter. Nah. Get a divine feminine message. Okay, so it says form does not differ from void. Form is void. Outer difficult will be resolved with inner truth. 
I don't know, but I feel like this is the perfect message for you when this came through. Okay, Taurus. So go ahead and screen that, uh, shot that so you can take a look at that and really like break that down. But for the most part, what I'm getting is that um, whatever is difficult on the outside is going to be resolved within. Okay, is what I'm getting. Okay, if there is a difficulty or problem outside, you'll find the solution within. Okay, nothing's outside of you. Yeah, wisdom dispels ignorance. Your wisdom will dispel ignorance also. Okay, it's like you kind of standing up for, to, to your peers or to someone this week or... And again, Taurus, don't think small. It's not like you're going to be standing up to some per actual person. This is more when you see us fighting, right, in the zodiac signs, right, as people, right, we're not fighting people. We're actually fighting principalities, you know? So that's what I feel like you're, you're in the fight against, right, is what they're saying, Taurus. It's not actual people. It's more like principalities. Right, it's principality, Smokey. <laughs> I just had to say that. I had to say that. Like, oh my god, I just had to say that. I don't know why I had to say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I cannot. Can we get a message from Taurus this week? <laughs> Yo, these readings be having me cracking up, Chief. <laughs> Taurus, please. I don't know why I'm smelling like this cologne or something. It's real fancy. Okay, Taurus. That's weird. It's almost like I can smell like, hold on, I don't know, like a cologne or something. That was weird. Why did that come up in your reading, Taurus? Why did that come up in your reading? Hmm. Taurus, there's an unexpected income that's coming in for you. Okay, you might not see this coming, but this is, a, again, unexpected. So you, you, did, you won't see this coming, okay? Something that you'll uh, be able to work at and kind of craft, make it your own. You know, <clears throat> also, Taurus, I see you coming out of, you know, some sort of physical nature where your physical health is returning to you. Bad health. Maybe you had poor health, you know, um, or your health just wasn't physically where you wanted it to be. Optimal level, right? I feel like these days you're getting more to an optimal state for Taurus um, physically. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so that's that was it for this deck. So I'm going to put this one back anyways. Okay. And let's grab some more messages for Taurus this week. What can we look for for Taurus this week? <clears throat> yeah, wow, you guys got out the sun. So you guys got out the sun. I just heard raw energy. I don't know if who relates to that message, but it's like raw. You look at the sun and call the sun raw. Okay, so that's for somebody. Okay, but there's abundance here, some sort of income that you don't see coming. This isn't going to be easy. They're saying there's no easy road to this, but this is definitely coming. Some sort of unexpected income. They're saying a feminine energy can help you with this. They're saying a feminine energy can help you with this. You got a feminine energy out here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's get your tarot messages to us. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Okay.
Okay, so your first card is in the Eight of Pentacles. So this week you could be definitely investing in something. I'm definitely seeing a major investment for Taurus this week. Okay. You also have all the Eight of Wands. Wow. So Eight, Eight. I'm seeing Eights are self. But it's also like this week either there's... I'm seeing you potentially seeing like... I'm seeing this week you seeing potential in someone, right? Um, Towards this week. You've probably already seen potential in someone who works hard or you've watched this person grow or expand or, you know, over time, right? Now you feel like, okay, now it's time. I should open up and communicate to this person, okay? I feel like, okay... Again, part of that might be when they say something wasn't easy, it might be because the the way that you were looking at this person might, you know, I don't know if this is going to be easy to get this person or talk to this person or uh, whatever this is. I don't know. <coughs> for some of my tourists, this is like a person. And then for some of my other tourists, this is like an actual thing that you're going after that isn't going to be easy or something so I'm getting two different kind of messages tell me more for Taurus this week but mostly again with the eights this is self right a lot of self this week all about the self and eights also represents abundance you know abundance a lot of it right I feel like you're connected to the source energy. They're confirming this right here. I feel like you're connecting to God's energy, you know, queen of swords. I feel like you're in your truth. Whatever your truth is for Taurus this week, I feel like that brings you um, success. Whatever your truth is. And you're definitely going to detach from what is it. Um, maybe somebody could have said something about a feminine energy, you know, and you had to observe something. You wanted to watch something is what I'm seeing. The devil. Yeah. Like this person could have been definitely dealing with some sort of escapism, possibly. But this person gives me like very much like somebody who's a, their energy of light their energy of light truth three of pentacles who's very highly tapped in so I'm getting somebody very highly tapped in I don't know Taurus I feel like there could have been somebody that People could have spoken bad about King of Swords. They're telling me this is the truth. It could be somebody that they spoke bad about, and um, maybe you listen to this person or whatever. But it could be like y'all was a match or something like that. They're saying King and Queen of Swords. There was a match. There was a pairing. It's something special about you finding that out this week. Somebody that um, you were looking after or trying to figure out for the most part. You know, um, maybe how you felt, how you wanted to approach the situation, whatever, right? Um, I feel like this week is going to be like some sort of, you know, opening up or something like that. Communication breakthrough here for in Taurus energy. Tell me more. <clears throat> I'm getting someone's detached here. I don't know if this is you, Taurus, or the person that you're going towards. I get someone is detached. Again, I don't know whose energy this is. There's the, like... I get intimidation. Somebody could even feel intimidated by something here with the strength card. Saying intimidated. Somebody could be intimidated. This week for Taurus. Tell me more for Taurus this week. 
You got out the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords showing up? P See? People lie on people because it's like, well, if they can't have the opportunity, then they don't want nobody else to have it. Or if they're not going to go after something, then they don't want other people to. You know? That's what I think it is. You know? People might have lied on people that... You know, maybe you were, say you was checking on somebody and you was like, oh, I want to work with so-and-so. And then you threw that person's name out there and then they was like, oh, no, don't work with that person. You know, or maybe like somebody was like, put, uh, what is it? Like some sort of lie or whatever, you know, just to block somebody's opportunity or something like that. And maybe like now you're starting to find, figure out like, wait a minute, you know, hold on. Like you can see the truth and there's like some sort of prosperity and a war to be coming to you because it's like you breaking through the seven of swords. It's like seven of swords is like breaking through to the truth. You know what I'm saying? After being lied to though. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, and that's nine of swords. Come on now. They try, somebody try to tell you a lie to keep you stuck. And again, it could have been something that you was trying to invest in with this, with this, um, Three of Pentacles, and then somebody felt like, well, I would invest in it, but maybe I don't have the time or the this and that. So I'm a, I'm going to tell this person that they shouldn't. And just that simple. You know what I'm saying? That's how that worked out. So that could be something like a, some sort of award or reward in it. Because I feel like God is working through this person, whoever this person is, that's dealing with some sort of escapism or stuff like that. This person could be like, God sent, you know what I'm saying, this person for you to help this person. Something like that is what I'm getting for my Taurus. Word bond. King of Pentacles, like, hey, make this shit up. It's like God sent you to help somebody. You know what I'm saying? I can't make this shit up. Like, with some sort of security, stability, I'm trying to tell you what I know. God worked in mysterious ways. That's how God worked. <clears throat> Maybe you see your shadow self showing up or whatever in this person or something like that. And it's like, that's what maybe showed you, like, you could trust this person. Like, I ain't going to take the easy route. I ain't going to try to, you know, that's this is like you saying like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the thing that I know that I need to do to get there. I'm not going to cheat to get this person there. Or I'm not, I'm going to just do it naturally because this is what like God telling me this is the way, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. Like completely following your intuition to, um, navigate you when it comes to the situation. And again, I feel like it, this week. Taurus, whatever this is, it, it doesn't have to be the scenario that I'm saying, the story that I'm telling you. Okay, take it how it resonates. With this week, with this page of swords, they're talking about, you know, having a lot of eyes, having a lot of people that either look up to you or look, you know, to you for whatever reasons, right? Maybe they look after you, look after them. Maybe you care for them. Something to that degree, you know, feeling like, you know, there's a lot of eyes on you this week. Um, especially if you like try to go and do something against what everybody or what someone has already spoken against or something like that, there could be definitely some eyes or some, you know, mm -hmm. you know, like that type of energy, like, you know, doubt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Could be possible Scorpio energy. Okay. With the rebirth that fell out. Could be possible Scorpio energy. But there's a rebirth happening for Taurus this week. Okay, overall. Okay, this week, like I said, strongly following your intuition. Like, I can't make this shit up to y'all. <clears throat> this week with this three of swords. There's something. I feel like there's a connection or something that you feel like you could be missing out on. Too. I don't think that the connection has anything to do with who the person has been lied on. I feel like there's a business opportunity and there's an actual love opportunity out here for you. There's multiple opportunities of abundance here for you, Taurus, on this board that I can see. That I can see. And I can see, like, people wanting that help, wanting that, being willing to accept that, you know. Um, and there could have been a lot of challenges in the way to try to stop this union, you know, um, a lot of karmics. And karmics are not always just the people we're in, relate, in um, physical relationships with. Sometimes a karmic could come in the form of a friend. Sometimes a karma can come in the form of a family member, right? So understand that, you know, it extends, right? Because you got a karmic lesson out here, your shadow self turning up, you know? So that's, okay. 
here as well. Well, I want to talk about the Three of Pentacles and what's not going to be so easy for um, Taurus this week. I just want to grab a couple of messages. I'm not going to keep you going for that. But let's go ahead and talk about it. If I could just break this down just a little bit more. Damn, I feel like this message is too long. I might not keep this one. I don't know. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this week, you know, there's going to be like some sort of help for you this week. Um, Taurus, major messages. Like, um, I feel like something is being spiritually... Um, You're being spiritually supported in, in something that you're going after. And whether again, like I said, whether it's be love or money or opportunity or whatever this is, right? Because you're going about this in a spirit of just courage, having fear to face obstacles or, or challenge, you know what I'm saying, with confidence, right? I feel like, again, that brings you to a really good space this week for you, um, Taurus. And through your solitude, I feel like you learned a lot of deep personal lessons. You know, how not to judge a book by its cover or by things that people say about people. You know, because people people are going to be people, right? Um, some people have nothing going on in their lives, you know? And it's just the reality of it, right? So we got our three of wands telling me about you making a choice to choose on your own independently. One that's not a choice out of pride or one that's not a choice out of guilt, but just a choice out of going against those energies, in fact, and finding courage, right, instead to break, help you break free of any fear, okay, that you might be experiencing this week for Taurus. Um, no, I hate to use the word fear, but again, fear is not a bad thing. I don't want people to understand that, you know, we, 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 we tend to, oh, it's a good thing. Oh, it's a bad thing, you know, but... And inherently, you know what I'm saying? There, we have to understand that, you know, things just are, right? It's not good or bad, right? They just are. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting for Taurus this week. Let me clarify the three of swords. I'm telling you, I keep telling you, you're going to get some sort of abundance this week for Taurus. Okay, you got the sun showing up. So I know you're going to get something, something that you were looking forward to. Okay, I'm trying to tell you, you're going to get something that you were looking forward to this week for Taurus. Okay, I feel like, again, with the seven of wands is saying, like, just stand up for the, stand up for the small guy. Stand up for the person that nobody rooting for this person. Like, and you got to wonder why. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, when it's a lot of people supporting a person, like, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. But, like, when it's, like, nobody supporting this person, but, like, you have a personal connection to something, like, that got to be something in that. And it's saying follow your own intuition into that with this star. You know what I'm saying? Listen to your own intuition. Don't listen to what has been said about this situation or this person. Because if you stand on your own beliefs, your own, you know, legs, right, your own head... Um, arm, leg, leg, arm, head, supreme head, okay? Um, there will be some sort of abundance that's going to come towards you, okay? Just for real deal. Holy field for my Taurus is this week. It's like you're going to be able to help you and someone else. And it's, it's like whenever you, um, you help other people, it's always a blessing that comes behind it, you know, that comes with it. Um, so just give thanks this week. Okay, for uh, you also got all the three three energy, so just be thankful of this divine energy again. That source when you see the threes, that's God, you know, um, and that's what you got this week, you know, God energy, the source energy, the all right. So, this is beautiful for you this week, Taurus. Let me know how you like this message down below. I love you, bye.